Okay, I'm going to try installing this unit. I would describe it as a CD stacker emulator. In other words, it goes in to the factory wiring where your CD stacker would go in. But you can put into it USB SD card or a 3.5 plug. And the reason I want to use this unit is so I can control it from the handlebars. That mean, meaning I can change the songs and change the discs. I need to remove the backrest. Okay, gone. Next, I need to remove the seat. There we go. That was easy. I guess uh, might need some cleaning under there. It looks like I've been riding around in the rain. Goodness. Now I need to locate the connector. And I believe this is it here. Looks like the one will plug into the other. And it does. And it only goes in one way. Clicks in nicely. Now I have to locate the unit in the uh, trunk. And we'll see how we can get, get there from here. So I thought I'd uh, test this thing before hardwiring it in. And, uh, well, we've had some success. The unit will not recognize a USB stick. It goes to something like track 5, or no, CD5 track 14, and plays nothing. So I was getting quite annoyed, and I decided to try a um, SD card. So, stuck an SD card in there, and it seems to work. So, we got... Um, weather band we press CD Anyway, what will I do? I don't know, I think I'll, I might hardwire it in for now, but I'm going to make a complaint to the Yeah Tour Digital Music Changer company. I don't know if the um, 3.5 millimeter works. I didn't think I needed it. And no, it's not got to do with the way I um, labeled the files and that sort of stuff because all I did was copy everything off the USB stick and put it on the SD card and it works. So there's something wrong with the um, USB part of it. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I don't know if we'll update this or not. Somewhat disappointed at this. I think it costs me about 60 bucks and 15 bucks shipping. To hardwire this in, I'm going to have to pull this plug apart and all the connectors out of it because I don't want to drill a hole as big as this uh, plug here. Uh, I just have to go through the back of the um, trunk just in there and come through. It's not far to go. But, 
I guess if I screw this up, there's no warranty on it, but oh well. It only half works. So I'm going to pull those wires out of the plug, sneak them through, drill a small hole, and then reconnect it. I'll have to make a map, and I'm going to take a few pictures later. Okay, I made a diagram and took pictures. So we'll see how this works. It might never work again. They're out. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Okay, this is a job for Unibet. Bit bigger. That should probably do. There it is. Sticking through. Now to put the plug back on. And it works again.